The Earth's history seems at times like a story recorded in a book, each page of which is torn into small pieces. Many of the pages and some of the pieces of each page are missing. that they are both uh, parts of something for which we do not have a name uh, at the present time. It would be amusing to try to give it a name, uh, which thing, once it is fully constituted, will I expect finally constitute a, a, a kind of counter machine uh, for the machine of language. That is to say, I, 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 I think that, uh, or I suspect that the intellect uh, of the West, at least, has, has been struggling for quite some time to, to invent. Uh, a natural counterbalance for language as a way of accounting for the world, uh, a way of doing it through images. einfach so, dass es Bilder nur noch wenig gibt. Also wenn man hier so rausschaut, das ist ja alles zugebaut, da sind fast kaum, fast nicht mehr Bilder möglich. Man muss also wie ein, wie ein Archäologe mit dem Spaten graben und man muss, äh, man muss eben schauen, dass man aus dieser beleidigten Landschaft heraus noch irgendetwas äh, finden kann. Sehr oft natürlich ist es verbunden mit, mit Risiken. Und die würde ich also nie scheuen. Und ich sehe eben, es sind so wenige Leute heute auf der Welt, die sich wirklich etwas trauen würden für die Not, die wir haben, äh, nämlich zu wenig adäquate Bilder zu haben. Wir brauchen ganz unbedingt Bilder, die äh, mit unserem Zivilisationsstand und mit unserem Inneren allertiefsten übereinstimmen. Und da muss man eben dann notfalls auch mitten in den Krieg hineingehen oder wo auch immer es notwendig sein sollte. Une fois, deux fois, trois fois. Une fois, bien, c'est un accident. Et puis encore, deux fois, c'est le hasard. Mais trois, c'est le destin. Mais le destin, ça n'existe pas. Quand vous dites cela, c'est encore le destin. Ah. Et si je ne l'avais pas dit Pareil, le destin. Ton destin, Baptiste, c'est des racontards. Tout n'est pas écrit dans un livre. 
Je sais bien qu'on n'a pas toujours le choix. Mais si tu es perdu comme une feuille au vent, tiens, tu me tiens mon sac. C'est pas parce que tu le décides que tout va changer. I saw a carefree future slipping away. A comfortable flat, a nostalgic car, perhaps one day a devoted lover. All this gave way to a vision of hopeless emptiness. And yet it was strange that such an image of a possible future should be conjured up with such certainty only on the occasion of its denial. It was as if it was only when failure implied the loss of some desired objective that it seemed possible to know what it might have been. Or rather, that apparent failure had obliged me to invent a lost goal. For security and domestic bliss had never really been my ambition during the previous months when everything had gone so well. I had no real desire for this false idyll, this petty bourgeois Sunday. How clever are the ways in which society impresses its authority on men's minds? No, surely this was not the good life that I seemed in danger of losing. A string of temporary addresses, a number of casual liaisons and a collection of second-hand cars, but above all, the ability to drift. These seemed the major characteristics of the life that I had been leading. In retrospect, it didn't seem quite so good, but it had its good points, and they certainly formed no part of the vision of suburban contentment I had for some reason conjured up. No, there were other ways of living one's life. Ideas are either in the head or um, outside of it. And I rather think that the, the ideas outside the head open the head better than the ones inside the head. 